do an alt three and that'll put your heart up in the game upper right we have a teal protoss by, name, by, by the name of tasty who took out pop tart in the semifinals uh, tonight meanwhile in the bottom left we have legend who took out matt in the semifinals legend a multi uh, winner multi uh, champion of daywalker and tasty is now in the finals and uh, is in position to beat a Terran here and become a champion of Daywalker also. Overlay, overlay. Okay, I see the uh, thing in the stream chat. Sorry about the overlay there, guys. Uh, it is now fixed. Luckily, there wasn't very much going on in the game so far. What is going to happen on this map? Who knows? The, pro the probe is already here in the Terran base and just causing, you know, just being annoying is basically what this uh, probe is doing. Uh, we have a gas first for the Terran. Gas first for the Terran. So, um, hmm. We'll see what he does with the gas. This uh, SCV is going to chase the probe around the base. Meanwhile, in the Protoss base, we have a gateway down. And he's going to go for two gases right away. So, two gases right away. And has a, a gateway down. So, uh, not so typical play here from either player right now. The SCV is going to make its way over to the Protoss base. <laughs> and I don't blame <laughs> I don't blame a Legend for not knowing where to send this SCV at all. <laughs> where do you send this SCV to get inside the Protoss base? You have to walk it, so walk it all the way over here. Because here's the entrance into the base through this little choke right here. Here's the entrance to the Terran base right here. I mean, you talk about a tile set for this map. This map has a very unique tile set, doesn't it? It has like we have um, this is you know this is kind of like dual uh, dual site. Remember dual site, <laughs> MLG dual site. This is kind of like what this map is. We have you know the good old uh, elf or the <laughs> we have the uh, the elf land elf woods over here you know with the grass and everything and all of a sudden over here you have like this sand tile set you know like this uh, I don't know what, what you call this over here whatever in the world this is over here oh yeah there's an edge oh interesting okay so there's an edge uh oh we're gonna float a barracks we have a proxy barracks from the Terran it's gonna float he's gonna float the, the factory over here uh, to this upper, uh, like, up high ground that's above the Protoss base. What in the world's going on with this map? We have a cliff. Let's see, there's a cliff here and everything. We're going to float a factory up here. The Protoss has no idea. Oh, oh, stalkers are coming here. I guess he did see the factory floating over here. <laughs> so here we go. The stalker's attacking the uh, factory. And uh, Legend is uh, wondering how in the world uh, he saw. So yeah, Stalker is attacking a factory that's on the high ground above the Protoss base here, which is a weird, weird uh, expansion point for the uh, base, I guess. Uh, Hellion is inside the main base. Do we have worker kills? No, it's just one each. So, Legend is going to uh, run this Hellion around the base of the Protoss for a while. Oh, I see the ledge they're talking about. Excuse me, the ledge is right here, I guess. Is that the ledge? Alright, so that's the ledge. Interesting. And over here, we have another ledge. Here's a ledge right here. Huh. Very cool. We have a ledge on this side, and we have a ledge over here on this side, right here. Is it, is the, does the ledge go the whole way around? It does. Uh, this ledge goes the entire way around this map, basically. <laughs> interesting, interesting uh, creation to this map, for sure. The factory is now on fire, and it will burn, burn down or get shot down here in just a second. The factory is going to do some scouting before it dies. Did we have a widow mine inside this space that I did not see? Yep, eight workers have now been killed for the Terran. A widow mine is right here. There's the widow mine. And it did take out some probes that were in the uh, base. Uh, these probes are scared of the widow mine now. <laughs> They're running away. 
<laughs> All kind of craziness going on in this game. <laughs> we had a proxy floated factory into the high ground above the Protoss base. I guess the same thing goes for the Terran base, right? Yeah, okay, so we have a cliff here on, in, the, in, the, in the back of the Terran base. Strange base configurations going on here. <sighs> Looks like the Widow Miner was killed or it moved or something. I don't know if it left or what the deal was. But anyways, it's not there anymore. So the probes are free to uh, mine again from the uh, base. Uh, both of these players are only on one base mining right now. <laughs> oh man, this map! This map is going to be fun uh, this season in Daywalker to see in the finals. That's why I only use it in the final because it's such a weird map that I don't think it'll be any fun with everybody playing on it earlier in the tournament. Like, let's say we have a round of 16 and this is the map. This is just not fun at all. Uh, for people to get used to this. <laughs> but it's interesting to watch in the final, that's for sure. When two people know what they're doing and uh, can use the map to their advantage or whatever. So here we go. Three Immortals are on their way. Two Stalkers are here. And a Sentry is here also. The Observer is tagging along, watching everything that happens. Is the Terran prepared for this? He does have bunkers here. He did not wall this off, so the Protoss can get in here. Oh, I guess it is walled off. He, he, the door's down. He needs to put the uh, supply depots up. He does not in the bunker. This bunker goes down. He still has two more, though. That supply depot goes down. Trying his hardest to move his units in here. The oh, barracks goes down in a hurry. And now the wall is completely down. This Protoss looks like, uh, looks like he means business. And uh, that wall, it goes completely down. There was going to be a mass repair on this bunker from these SCVs, which is a good thing, because those uh, Immortals, you know, can uh, do damage to uh, buildings really fast. All right, what does Legend do now? Remember, he proxied that factory and everything. He was concentrating on getting a, uh, a, a Widow Mine in the mineral line of the, t of the Protoss. He had a Hellion in the base and everything. And so uh, he has to catch up a little bit here on his macro. This uh, Protoss is going to be in his face with these units for quite a, for quite some time unless he decides to run away. The Terran's going to move his uh, command center back here to this back base. <laughs> which, which on a map like this, you would wonder why it's not the main base. Like, th like this map has the total, like, you know, uh, the way it's made, like, this could be totally be the main base back here, <laughs> right? Alright, uh, Zealots are now warped in from the Warp Prism into this back base here. And uh, Marines are here to take out the Zealots, kite the Zealots a little bit, and should destroy, destroy them all. Meanwhile, in the front of the base, we have the Immortals moving in and taking out the bunkers. Oh, the mass repair was too late, and the SMEs have to try to surround these uh, Protoss units. Alright, so we have a uh, mortal that's being killed there, so that Protoss force was destroyed. Look at the uh, workers killed here, 9 to 8 now. Uh, Legend still in the lead, but 25 units killed. Oh my gosh. And we have a get got to go by Legend, and looks like we're going to have a forfeiture in the finals tonight. And Tasty's going to take the tournament.